Boeing had recently made a presentation to the Ministry of Defense and Indian Navy officials, in which Boeing officials had said that it is willing to demonstrate the operation of its F-A-18 Block III on both the Indian aircraft carriers, and has offered 18 single-seat F-A-18E and 8 twin-seat F-A-18F aircraft to the Indian Navy as per its requirements. Boeing officials also said that F-A-18 is highly compatible with MH-60 anti-submarine helicopter and P-8 maritime aircraft, as the F-A-18 is connected over NATO standard link 16 data voice and video tactical data links with both the platforms. Interestingly, Boeing officials also said that the two-seater F-A-18F fighter jets will also allow the Indian Navy to effectively operationalize advanced carrier-based naval aviation technologies such as manned-unmanned interface, that includes the Boeing MQ-25 Stingray aerial refueling drone and loyal wingman, which means that these platforms are also on offer to the Indian Navy, if it goes ahead with 26 F-A-18 purchase. The Indian Navy with the DRDO has successfully conducted the first test of the indigenously developed short-range naval anti-ship missile from Seeking helicopter. It features an imaging infrared seeker and 100 kg warhead, and has a maximum range of 55 km, that can be launched from naval helicopters to target small and medium class of ships and patrol boats in all weather conditions. According to a US media report, the US government is preparing a military aid package for India, to deepen security ties and reduce India's dependence on Russian defense platforms, but surprisingly the foreign military financing is for only $500 million. The report also mentions, that the Biden administration is looking for a breakthrough to provide India major platforms like fighter jets naval ships and battle tanks. But the small financing package would do little to make those types of systems which can cost tens of billions of dollars, and this military aid package would only be a symbolic sign of support. Private sector firm Gridbots has demonstrated its sleuth hound robot to the Indian Army, that features real-time face recognition and tracking. It can detect faces at 250 meters, and recognize faces at 100 meters. The 360-degree pan and tilt camera works perfectly in harsh environments, and comes with automatic lens cleaning system, and has been offered as the best option to provide all-round security. Russia is planning to replace Western Origin engines avionics and several structural elements and units and components on its MC-21 passenger jet with localized alternatives, and has identified several Indian Brazilian and Chinese companies that might be approached to create alternative supply lines by end of 2023. Russia has also offered local production of MC-21 to India, which includes assembly and maintenance of MC-21 passenger jets with Indian partners. The two-seater trainer Hansu NG design and developed by National Aerospace Laboratories, has successfully completed the in-flight engine relight test, at the RDO's aeronautical test range facility yesterday. The capability was demonstrated at an altitude of 8,000 feet and speed of 70 knots, during which the aircraft handling characteristics and flight parameters were found to be normal. Indian Army paratroopers carried out static line jumps, combat free fall, and precision delivery of heavy loads using aerial platforms in the northwestern sector. The exercise validated the capability of Indian Army in exploiting third dimension to achieve the military objectives.